Okay, so we've got our wheelchair motor. We're going to give it a quick test. Um, with no power on it at all, nothing connected, you'll find that you can't move it. By turning this, allows the wheelchair to be pushed normally. Putting that back in, locks the motor. But there is an electrical brake on it. Now these two pins here, in the middle, are the brake. So if we apply 12 volts to that, I hold those there, we should just be able to So I can turn that round. I can feel the motor going round as well, so there's quite a lot of friction there. Okay. So, now for actually uh, trying to use the, or check the motor itself. So the big pins, these outside pins, what we need to connect up to what would normally be 24 volts in this case um, we're just going to test it with 12 volts okay so I cannot use the weight of the battery here to keep all this together there we go okay so the brake is on because there's a voltage here across these two pins. It can be wired up either way. I'll just put that wire back in again. Hopefully that's good enough. So we should be able to there we go. Very quiet actually. Very quiet. So the main thing here is yes the brake could be energized, turned on and off by applying the voltage on these two wires, and yes the motor goes backwards and forwards. Never try and get the motor to work without taking that brake off. I'm not going to try it. I don't. I don't want to try it, but I can only imagine that it can't be good. Um, okay, so that's how to test your uh, your motors. Um, there is one last thing that if you have a selection or a, a nice choice of motors, um, you might want to just check to see if there's any play there. Now this one, there's a little bit of play. I've compared it to the other motor and there's hardly any play at all. It's just a little bit there. Whether that's going to be a problem later, I don't know. But at least the motor itself seems to be working fine. I think one of the first jobs I'll probably do is trace these wires, the brake wires, to see what they actually energise inside the motor and disconnect that and take that uh, bit out because we don't actually need a brake. Okay, that's it.